Phillip Island's a great place for spectators. It's one of the olden style racetracks and it just makes for great racing. Phillip Island's got some magnificent uh, variations on the circuit there. It's got really, really high speed turns like turn one, turn three. You know, turn one you're approaching at 330 plus kilometres an hour. Phillip Island's great for passing in a number of places. Set up for Phillip Island's always a little bit um, tricky. Because it's so fast and flowing, you need a fairly neutral type of setup, to be honest. Tire wear is such a big problem, especially for the rear, but equally the front's getting quite a hard workout, and especially on the left side of the tires, both front and rear. I, I really believe that uh, each rider at that level has a good understanding of what the tires are, and then it really comes down to their strategy of how they want to sort of play the race out. The only thing is the weather. <laughs> You know, you have strong winds sometimes, which is difficult to understand as a rider, you know, because all of a sudden you'll be hit with 60 kilometre an hour winds, you know. A lot of good memories. The track is magnificent. The fans who do make the journey down to Phillip Island certainly make it a worthwhile venue for all riders.